So now in this video, we're gonna look at the uh, KSP13 right here. So that's a Darlington pair transistor. It looks just like the uh, regular transistor, the 2N3904. So I know the writing is faded, but both of these came from the Joe Knows Electronics Semiconductor Kit. And so first we're gonna look at the 2N3904. So really, I kind of assume you already understand these, but uh, anybody can watch this video, so you never know. So we got uh, 2N3904. And what this does is it takes a small base current and based on the uh, base to emitter current, it lets a lot more current go from collector to emitter. And uh, so it is a current controlled amplifier. And we're just gonna make kind of a switch today. But in uh, any case, we're gonna see that uh, basic property is pin one, two, three, emitter base collector. So emitter base collector. Here's what we're really interested in, the uh, gain HFE. So for every milliamp of current from base to emitter, it's gonna let probably about 400 milliamps of current from collector to emitter. And it has a forward voltage. So it takes a uh, voltage of almost 0.7 volts to start conducting base to emitter so that you can conduct collector to emitter. Uh, basic transistor stuff. Now we're gonna grab the uh, Darlington pair. So, the, uh, uh, what is it, uh, KSP13 right there. And uh, we can look at that one too. We looked at the other one up close and uh, there's not a whole lot to this video so might as well look at uh, this one up close. And uh, there you can see KSP13 right there. And you can see these without the loop in person, but the camera doesn't uh, pick it up terribly well if I try to uh, zoom in. But uh, in any case, there we go, we got her plugged in and we're gonna test her. So we're gonna see a couple of things. Uh, you're gonna see the same schematic symbol. It actually has a different schematic symbol. It's schematic symbol looks like another transistor up here that is powering that transistor from base to emitter. And so it's amplifying what we already amplified. But there you can see the pin layout is the same as far as the components concerned, emitter base collector. And uh, the gain here, now you see instead of uh, 400, it's 32,000. And uh, that is what the uh, Darlington pair is for. So now, as I said before, there's another diode. And uh, so you can't trust everything you see on uh, this component, but it tests it and tells you what it sees. So it sees an NPN bipolar junction transistor with 32,000 uh, gain. But the forward voltage, you see that's twice as high as the other one because we have two transistors. And uh, so I have a, a simple LED circuit right here that uh, we will test this out on. So we have five volts at the power supply right there. And first we're gonna take the NPN bipolar junction transistor and you're gonna see that the LED stays off. So we got the resistor. It's a 220 ohm resistor long lead of the LED, the anode to the resistor, short lead of the LED is to the uh, transistor, right there. And now I'm gonna take a 10 kilo ohm resistor and put that to the base, positive rail to the base. That turns the transistor on. That's how you turn it on. And there you can see it's lit up pretty well. We got about 10 milliamps of current flowing mostly through the LED, so. That's a 10,000 ohm resistor. And so a little bit's flowing through the base to emitter, which is allowing a lot more to flow from collector to emitter. And interestingly enough, with the same test, it looks like this one's a spec lower, but this is not completely accurate. So we can't uh, really go by what we see on there, but we can get a general idea of what we got. So that's the Darlington pair right there. And so with 10 kilo ohms, we got basically the same current on there. This is a 1 million ohm resistor so I'm gonna put that right next to uh, where the uh, jumper is we will uh, zoom in and look at that so that's one million and I think this one uh, that one's the Darlington pair so KSP 13 I don't have the number memorized and uh, here's the 2N3904 though and we will plug that in the leads are uh, kind of bent there you go, but uh, we'll plug that in. And now you can see the LED is lit, but we don't have a reading on there. So it's less than one milliamp of current. 
and uh, it may be a little bit more than one milliamp because as I said this is not completely accurate but it's not terribly off it may be one or two off and uh, anyways it's about uh, probably one milliamp per current with how bright the LED is so that was with the 2N3904 KSP13 here we will just plug that in and there you can see we got uh, just slightly less current for whatever reason and I say that because this is a 1 million ohm resistor to the base and so it's letting a trickle of current from base to emitter which is letting pretty much the full current go through the collector to emitter and uh, so here is a 10 million ohm resistor and there you can see we still have the uh, 8 milliamps of current whereas if I pluck out the Darlington pair transistor and put in the uh, 2N3904 the LED actually did light up a tiny bit there you go and uh, but there you can see that it is uh, practically I'll, uh, I'll pluck it right there so uh, just a very very little trickle went through but these LEDs can produce some some light with just a speck of uh, current going through them but uh, but practically nothing but uh, in any case that's it for the Darlington pair that is what it is used for when the uh, signal is extremely weak where a normal uh, bipolar junction transistor in this case it cannot do anything with this 10 million ohms of resistance limiting the current and uh, so we got five millionths of an amp so probably five nano amps uh, going from the yeah, base to emitter that's with full voltage though we drop about 1.2 volts so it's probably about 3.8 or so milliamps of current going base to emitter this is only going to let like 400 times that go through and so that's uh, not very much whereas the Darlington pair transistor as we saw even with that small amount of base current it amplifies that current and uh, gives you pretty much the full uh, current there so we could test this more accurately with the multimeter and whatnot but uh, this is good enough as far as I'm concerned right now so in any case as I said before I got this from the Joe Knows electronics kit I'm gonna try to do more videos with them and upgrade up uh, date the website with uh, those components so I hope you check all of that out thanks for watching I will see you in the next video